series premiere, season one, it said season one, so that means they plan on having a two. <laughs> Episode one, pilot, hell yeah. And it's your boy Icon with a DC animated TV review for you. And I'm gonna be honest, why does Kite Man have a show? But <laughs> out of all the characters from the Harley Quinn series to have a spinoff, they could have did a spinoff with the Bat family for Chris, but to do a spinoff with Kite Man is like, you know this is gonna be some crazy ass shit. And we're here to review it. So, in this particular episode, in the season premiere of Kite Man and Golden Glider, and I'm going to be honest, part of the, the, the only reason why I was even interested in reviewing a Kite Man series is because it was him and Golden Glider. If it was just him by himself, I don't know how I would have felt about that. But it actually starts with the Legion of Doom. And when it starts with the Legion of Doom, uh, racially ambiguous Lex Luthor, he said that he has a weapon that can destroy the Superman and the Justice League. But he said that he doesn't have any air support because he's going to keep this weapon in his impenetrable fortress. The Legion of Doom members are trying to use the weapon to kill their hero's counterparts. But since they can't really decide on what to do with the weapon, Lex is like, fine, I'm going to put this weapon in a vault until we decide what we're actually going to do with it. And I need somebody to watch it because the superheroes, like, they can fly and we need air support. And all of their flying villains, for some reason, weren't around. Sinestro was there and Sinestro can fly. So I have no idea why we didn't just ask Sinestro to do it. But anyway, Lex is like, oh, we need a, we need a flying villain that can help protect this weapon. And then that brings us to Kite Man. Kite Man is trying to rob a bank and Spoiler shows up to spoil his evil plan. Spoiler kicks his ass. Meanwhile, Golden Glider, she's a, a figure skater. And as a figure skater, she was supposed to be the backup to this other person who was like the lead of the figure skating show. The girl ended up like disrespecting her. She played her and then Golden Glider got mad, used her golden gliding powers and killed everybody in the show. The girl's power, she basically has like some golden energy inside of her that allows her to fly and gives her enhanced speed and enhanced super strength. But she said that she has an ultimate power, which they alluded to her doing something to the Legion of Doom before and Lex got mad and kicked her out. And I don't remember if that happened in the Harley Quinn series or not because I don't remember this girl having like a crazy ridiculous power. But apparently she has some crazy ridiculous power. So her and Kite Man, they're at the bar. You know, they're talking. They're embracing each other. They tell each other how each other's day goes. And then Golden Glider was just like, don't worry, babe. She said that the world will see who you are soon. And she'll, you know, and they'll know that Kite Man is to be feared. And then all of a sudden that's when Bane shows up. And he's like, we need a flying villain for the Legion of Doom. And then Kite Man said to Golden Glider, he was like, hey, Golden Glider, she would be perfect to be the flying villain. He was like, oh, no, because the last time she was in the Legion of Doom, you did something with your power. And Lex is upset. So then, so then she was. So then she goes, "Well, what about Kite Man?" And he's like, "But Kite Man doesn't have power." And then she's like, "Oh, but he's the only choice that you got." Bane decides to hire him, and they hire Kite Man to basically fly around the Legion of Doom to patrol the Legion of Doom to protect the weapon from Superman. And then all of a sudden, apparently, Superman showed up, or it was like a super blur. It was like a red and blue blur. It showed up crashed its way through the Legion of Doom and when Kite Man tried to fly in to stop Superman, the smoke that was coming out of the Legion of Doom the smoke blew Kite Man back and he crashed into the power lines and he hurt himself so he never actually did the deed so then Superman apparently got away with the weapon and then when Superman got away with the weapon Lex called Kite Man via satellite and cursed him out and said that he was fired and then that's when Kite Man tried to, like, you know, man up on him. He was like, I ain't gonna let you talk to me like that, Lex. He was just like, I'm a grown-ass man, and, you know, I'm a human being, and you're a loser, Lex, because you may have a bajillion dollars. <laughs> I actually thought that shit was funny. He was like, you may have a bajillion dollars, but you'll never have friends or people who love you, and you'll never kill Superman, you know, because the people, he's like, he said, although you have a mansion, and, you know, like, on in outer space, and although you have a company that, that's worth, like, kajillions, he said that you don't have this. You don't have a bar where you can enjoy your favorite people, where you can enjoy those that love you, where you can sit and be around the people who truly matter. And then Lex goes, so this bar is your shit, huh? Like, this is your thing. This is what you like. And he said, yeah, we love this bar, and this bar loves us. And then Lex goes to the bar guy, and he says, hey, I'm going to buy your shit for $10 million. And the guy's like, sold. So, <laughs> so now Lex is going to buy the bar, and he's going to demolish the shit as soon as possible. Everybody gets upset. And then when they're trying to figure out what to do because they love their bar, I'm like, just go to a different bar. And the guy, the guy who owns the bar, he's getting $10 million. See, this is the part that I don't understand. If you're the owner, everybody got mad at the owner of the bar because they're like, how can you sell your bar to Lex Luthor? And he was like, bitch, it's $10 million. I'm going to take $10 million. But they're like, we love this bar. We can't afford not to come here. This is our favorite bar. The man just got $10 million. 
he can buy another bar. <laughs> he can make another bar, people. It was not that serious. So then Kite Man gets the dumb idea to where he's going to steal $10 million. Him and Golden Glider are going to steal $10 million to buy the bar from the guy before Lex can do it. So then he's going around. He's asking people for the money. He asked his father. His father told him no. We had a Harley Quinn and a Poison Ivy cameo, cameo where he went to Poison Ivy and Harley and he asked them for $10 million. They didn't have it, especially when Harley said that she just bought a condo on the mascara. We remember that episode. So now they don't know what to do. And then Kite Man's like, fuck it. He said, I'm going to rob my dad. <laughs> he said, I'm going to rob my dad and we're going to steal the money from my father and I'm going to prove to my dad, you know, that I'm a man and I can do the damn thing. So then. All the people in the bar, because the bar was made up of, like, villains, former villains, just, like, all, all around losers. Those people ended up coming with them. And then Bane came with them, too, because Bane got kicked out of the Legion of Doom when Kite Man failed to protect the weapon from Superman. Sinestro was just like, well, Bane, you're the one who hired Kite Man. And then Lex got mad and kicked him out. So... Bane was in the bar and then he ended up, you know, he didn't want, he didn't want to lose the bar. So he ended up going with them to try to steal the money from the dad. So they go to the dad's house and when they go to the dad's house, this whole big fight ensues. All the villains are fighting, villains are dying. And then when it gets to the point where Kite Man and Golden Glider were getting ready to die, Golden Glider finally tapped into her true power. And her power basically reminds me of Negative Man from Doom Patrol. So whatever this golden energy is that exists inside Golden Glider it's able to manifest itself out of her body, take the form of her. Like, the power that she has within her is basically alive. And for some reason, the power can remove itself from her body, transform itself into her, and just go around and just murder everybody, which she did. So a whole bunch of people died. So then when Kite Man went into the house and went into his dad's chambers, there was bags on the floor. And he was like, what's this, dad? And he said, this is the money, son. He said, this is the first time in your life you actually stood up to me like a man. And I almost have some sort of respect for you. So because you finally stood up to me and because you finally proved that you got some balls, he's like, I'm going to give you the money so you can buy your stupid bar. So he takes the money, they buy the bar. And then when they buy the bar, Lex shows up to quote unquote congratulate him. But we then find out that because Lex didn't want to share the weapon with the, less, with the rest of the Legion of Doom, he lied about putting the weapon in the vault. He's the one who got rid of all the flying villains so they can hire Kite Man as the fall guy for why the quote-unquote weapon gets stolen. So now that the Legion of Doom members think the weapon is stolen, they'll never question what Lex is actually going to do with it. Meanwhile, Lex has the actual weapon this entire time. Sinestro, though, he found out about this and then Lex killed him. But, but then after that, Lex goes down to the bar to go talk to Kite Man. And when he goes down to the bar, he's like, oh, congratulations, Kite Man. He's like, you managed to get the money and you bought the bar for me. And while he's talking to Kite Man, Lex's goons takes the bomb and hides the bomb in the bar because he's just like, oh, the Justice League is going to be, now that the Justice League knows that Lex framed Superman and Superman wasn't actually there, the Justice League knows that this weapon actually exists. So they're going to be looking for it and they're going to be looking for Lex. So until the heat dies down, Le and also the Legion of Doom is going to be looking for him as well. So, But until the heat dies down, Lex hid the bomb in Kite Man's bar. And I don't know why he would never find this thing. So, so then Lex leaves. You know, all is right with the world. Lex is just waiting for the moment where he can take the bomb back from Kite Man. Kite Man and Golden Glider and everybody, they're celebrating a job well done. This is going to be the cast going forward. And then it cuts to an end credit scene where we get Dark Side for some reason. Because Dark Side said, oh... You know, well, Dark, one of Darkseid's minions, he was like, oh, we found the weapon, sir, that can get you the anti-life equation. And then he's just like, yes, and I'm sure it's being protected by, by one of the most revered, you know, heroes, one of the most revered warriors that the cosmos has ever seen. And it basically shows Kite Man going into the freezer with the bomb in the freezer. That's how the episode ended, and thank you for tuning in. I think we're going to find out in the end. When Darkseid finally shows up to collect this great weapon, we're going to find out that the weapon that Darkseid was looking for it's not the bomb that Lex hid in the bar. It's Golden Glider. Because now that Golden Glider revealed her power, Darkseid's coming for Golden Glider, and he's going to want her so he can use her power for the anti-life equation. But share your questions, comments, and concerns down below, and we'll continue to talk about it. I forgot how raunchy this show is. The creators of the Harley Quinn series, who's also doing this spin-off, I forgot how raunchy this shit is, and I enjoy it. Like, I forget, like, the cursed, like, as many times people told somebody to shut the F up. <laughs> like, the profanity is wild, but I'm here for it. I enjoy it. And and I enjoy sharing it and reviewing it and recapping it with all of you.
So like I said, so share your questions, comments, and concerns. Let me know what you thought about the season premiere of Kite Man. Are you going to keep watching? Do you enjoy it? Is it something that you're going to have on your radar going forward? And we will continue to talk about it. Because we did episode one, we're reviewing the whole season. So like I said, we're doing the Kite Man <laughs> thing. And I look forward to trying to figure out how to do thumbnails for this thing and all this stuff. Because I ain't got nothing green. So I don't have a kite either. So this is going to be interesting to see how I could pull this off going forward. Check out me on social media. Check me out on TikTok and on Instagram. Always on YouTube and X. So you can share your questions, comments, and concerns. We'll be here all week, guys. Because I got my Adventures of Superman season finale up on my channel. I got that Suicide Squad Isekai. And I'm going to have that Cobra Kai for you guys as well. So thank you for tuning in. Until next time, for some more Kite Man action. We're out this. Thank you.